तस्मरा हृदय संस्फुरात्मतत्व सच्चिसुखम परमहंस गति तुय यगर सुषुप्तम वैति नि तद्रह्म निष्कलमह न चूत संघ विश्व दर्पण दृश्यम नगरी तुल्यम निजागत पश्यम मया बहिवोद्भूत यथा निद्रया साक्षाते प्रबोध सामे स्वात्मा तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमयद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त तस्म श्रीगुरमूर्त नमयद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त नमयद श्रीदक्षिणामूर्त एक रूप भक्ति देन विश्व रूप भक्ति भूफ पाद यस्यनाभिर सूर्यौचनेत्रे कर्णवाशा शिरोमुखमी दहनो यस्तेम Visualize Vishnu. <clears throat> We know the standing form of Vishnu. Who father? <clears throat> Visualize the earth. And that earth is like the feet of Vishnu. Two feet. How big can Vishnu be? Hmm. 
that is what we are going to see now. Bhūvpādhau yasya nābihi viyat The entire space is the belly of Vishnu. Whatever space I can think of, the entire area, including galaxies, nearest and farthest galaxies, that is the central portion of Vishnu. Bhuvpadau yasyana bhihi viyat asura nilaha vayu anilaha Visualize the air available everywhere in this universe as the prana of Vishnu. <clears throat> Asuhu means prana. Uf padau yasya nabhir viyad asura nilaha Chandra surya uchanetre Two eyes of Vishnu. The sun and the moon. That means all luminous objects of the universe combined into one sun becomes one of the eyes. And all those objects which receive light are combined into one object called the moon. And that moon is looked upon as the second eye of Vishnu. Chandra Surya Uchanetre Then Karnavasha. All directions symbolized by the two ears of Vishnu means further the expanse. because the two ears are in two different directions. Karna Vasha Shirodhyo So what about the head of Vishnu? That would be the the lokas, the ultimate lokas Dyao Loka Means the lokas of all the all the gods, all the devatas, farthest. That those lokas are symbolized by the head of Vishnu. Mukha mukhamapi dahana. All the fire that are raging, that are small and that are raging everywhere in the universe. That would be the mouth of Vishnu. Yasya vasteya mabdhihi All the oceans, all the waters, 
of the universe would again be the central portion of Vishnu. So visualize the standing Vishnu or the sleeping Vishnu, lying down Vishnu. with the symbolism we have. Our Shastra has mentioned let's take a minute to visualize that starting from the bottom. Earth space Air, fire, luminous objects, sun and moon, all directions, years. Swargadi Lokaha, head. All the waters, torso. That covers the entire universe. Nothing is left. Take a minute to visualize. All activities happening on earth, Vishnu. All volcanoes and fires happening on sun, Vishnu. All chaotic-like activities in the universe, Vishnu. All calmness in the entire space, Vishnu. Thoughts in my mind, Vishnu. 
No thought silence in my mind, Krishna. I express this appreciation through a name Om <clears throat> Om Vishwarupine Namaha Om Vishwarupine Namaha Om Vishwarupine Namaha Vishwarupin One whose form is that of the world is called Vishwarupin unto that Ishwara Om Vishwarupine Namaha my salutations, my Shashtanga Namaskar chant Om Vishwarupine Namaha mentally Om Vishwarupine Namaha Om Vishwarupine Namaha
ಶ್ವರುಣೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ವರುಣೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ವರುಣೆ ನಮಃ the practice of vishwarupa dhyanam will give me the capacity called shama shanti hi accommodation broad mind a mind that is compassionate very compassion and strong also ಶಾಂತಿ You may open your eyes and remain calm. Mm-hmm.